Yeah, Ben and Sarah, you can still see the broken glass here at St. Mary's Ukrainian Orthodox Church in New Britain. Now, luckily, the man who broke this glass only broke the protective layer in front of that stained glass. So luckily, that was not damaged. But churchgoers here say they feel disrespected, especially as the war in their home country continues. Prucks my heart. I feel like cry. St. Mary's Ukrainian Orthodox Church in New Britain has welcomed worshipers through its doors for more than 100 years. Jaroslava Buchka has prayed here for nearly 60 of those since immigrating from Poland. And I love this church very, very much. Seeing this as a Ukrainian broke her heart, two windows of the church she loves were smashed a few weeks ago. Our community is very traumatized by this event. Natalia Karachenko is on the executive board of the church. The value of this house of worship holds strong in New Britain as a meeting space to bring the community together. She says they feel attacked. We outraged. Um, very hurt. 61-year-old Wilfredo Rios admitted to breaking the windows. He told police he thought someone was after him and wanted to scare them off while relieving some anger. His arrest warrant also states he told police he was asked to leave a Polish bakery and wanted to retaliate against what he believed was a Polish church. Rios faces criminal mischief, breach of peace, and desecration of property charges. Police believe the New Britain man has a mental disorder. Why do people go and destroy the, the property that people are you know, work for this all life. Wednesday is the Independence Day of Ukraine. Both women say it's a day of value this year as the war against Russia reaches 180 days. Everybody want to be free. Karachenko says they're lucky only the protective layer of the stained glass window was broken as this piece of art is priceless. It will cost the church more than $1,000 to fix everything. We have to get ourselves together, get money together and fix it again. And Ben and Sarah Rios remains in police custody tonight. He's being held on a $2,500 bond. Well, Tony, is this the first time since the war started that we've seen damage done to this church? Yeah, well, that woman you heard with, with the church says that this is not the first time since that war started since earlier this year that they have had damage. They said they had another window broken here a couple months ago, and they say the mission here is to continue passing this church down to future generations as it was passed down to them. Live in New Britain, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.